it's Leslie Langdon with Glue Arts and today we'll be making beautiful envelopes using Webster's Pages. Um, this is their Western Romance collection. So I'll be using a couple papers from that line and particularly their, um, they have a mailing love note sort of theme. So uh, you'll see there and I'll be turning that into an envelope. Okay, so first you have to decide where you want your flap to be. So I wanted my flap to be com coming like this and not really taking too much of the picture away. So this envelope here is going to be six and a half by five. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, scored it at five, score it at ten using the score pal. Okay, then you want to make your folds. Okay, so you can see the makings of your envelope, okay? I'm going to come back, set this aside, and then we'll be doing some die cutting on it to make it fancier. Okay, next I'm going to make an envelope that is 4 by 9. Okay, so here it is. You need to score it. This is going to be a classic envelope where we're going to fold it in at the side. So you want 4 inches in the middle. Okay, so you're going to have to go, since this is 9 inches in width, we want, um, okay, we want to score two and a half, um, and then four inches, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Okay, so that should give us two and a half inches on either side, four inches in the middle. So you can see how your envelope is already coming together by making these folds. Or you can use your score piece here, your score tool, just make those flat. Okay, so now we have to make ourselves a flap at the bottom and a flap at the top. So I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so I'm going to take an inch off the bottom to make our fold. So you'll see the scoring at an inch. And then you want nine inches up here, so you have to score at ten. Okay. And there are some pieces that we're not going to need um, because we only need the middle flap. So we're going to cut off this part and we're going to cut off that part. So just use your scissors. Cut that off. Okay. And you have the scored lines, so it's very easy. You know exactly where to cut. Okay. At the bottom, again, I'm going to take off those pieces. And you know what? I'm actually going to take off a little bit more from here. So I'm just going to take a little triangle off the corner. See that? Okay. So cut your rectangle out here. Well, it's a little harder to see the scored line. Okay, and then again, a little bit of a triangle you're going to cut out here. Okay, so now you have the makings of your envelope. You can see it coming together. There's enough room there to apply the glue, and then your flap, fold it up. If you want to make your flap a little bit decorative, why don't you take off a corner there too. Corner there, and a corner. You see? Alright, so, and then your top flap, is going to come down and we're going to die cut that and decorate the top to make that fancy as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead because you know you always want the top to fold right so I'm going to take a corner off at the top and a corner off at the, at the top as well, sorry. Okay, so here is what your whole piece looks like. Let me put it down so you can see it. We're pretty much done with the score pal. Okay. So there is your envelope template. Okay? So we can go ahead and glue that shut using the glue glider. Okay, so right now I have the cartridge um, in and it's going against me. So you'll see how that gives me nice flexibility to pull away. Okay? So there you go, just stick it down. And that'll hold, like glue, the Glue Arts um, Pro, the adhesive is so sticky, so you, this will never come apart. Okay, and um, 
then you want to put your flap up. So again, you can apply a little bit of, of glue. Now, if you don't like pushing this way, that's what the Glue um, Glider Pro Plus is all about. You just pull out the cartridge, you flip it around, you put it back in, and then you can pull towards you. Okay. All right, so there we have a cute envelope. We can ink it up, we're gonna die cut it, we're gonna put little um, brads and circles here and here with some cord. Okay, so what I have in front of me here is um, a base plate for the Spellbinders Grand Caliber, and I have an Edgeabilities die, and this acts like a border. So I'm gonna take um, the long envelope, and I'm going to line it up here. I'm gonna give us a nice frilly edge, but to make sure that this stays in place, I'm going to use some tape, okay? So just to go over the uh, dye a little bit and the paper, okay? So that should be enough. I'm going to put your other plate on top, and then I'm going to run it through the grand caliber here. I'm just going to roll it in and roll it out because that dye is right um, at the top of the of the base plate, okay? Okay, beautiful. See, it's just a little thing you can do, but it just makes your envelope that much cuter. Okay, now I am going to put some ink on here. So I chose this um, color cube by Clear Snap, and this one is called Swell, and it has lots of colors, um, especially that yellow here, uh, which is called Banana Custard. I'm just going to give us a light coloring on the, um, on the flap here, even the top. And this will just look so pretty. When you close it, it'll just make that flap stand out that much more, okay? So you can go around and do the whole side if you want. You can even do the flap up here. Okay, so next, um, ready to die cut little circles. I wanna put a circle here with the brad and a circle here with the brad, and I wanna do some cord. You just need a small circle. Okay. So, you know, put your, put your die on the, um, on the envelope, see what works. I think this size is perfect. So I'm going to find some coordinating paper, uh, which would probably be, if I could use this blue, I'm going to go grab a scrap. Just line that up, run it through. I need two of these, so I'll do this twice. Okay. So we'll put that aside. I'm also going to go around that um, the circle with a nice dark, a nice dark brown. This is also from Clear Snap from the chocolate and blueberries queue. All right, next step is to find the center and then just pierce it with a pin. And then you're gonna to wanna to put your brad in there. So choose a brad from your stash. Okay. And then line it up, depending on how far you want your cord to go down. Probably not, not too, too far. We'll do that. Okay, be careful not to go all the way through. Okay, and then find another matching brad. Okay. All right, last step is your cord. You can use string, you can use um, twine. Okay, so really all you have to do is kind of wrap it around, make sure that it's secure. It doesn't have to be tied in a knot or anything. It'll stay in place if you just wrap it a couple times. Okay, and then just keep wrapping like a figure eight. Okay, and there you go. There we have one of the envelopes that's ready to go. Okay, so there's the front. You can stamp on it, um, add a person's name, address. Okay, and there's the back. Okay, so we're back onto the first envelope here. So you remember, this is what we're working with. So what I did is I just went ahead and trimmed an inch off here because I wanted to do a neat little decorative um, half cut circle here. I'll do that with a circle die template. Um, I've also pulled out some more edgeabilities from Spellbinders. And this is the border and then the decorative insert, okay? So I've lined it up and then I'm going to do the flap, okay? So you always work with your good Good side down, line that up, okay, and then again I'm going to tape these into place to make sure you get the dies and then some of the paper, 
And then at the same time, on the other end of the base plate, I'm going to cut out my half circle. Okay, so I'm just going to slip half of the die there in the middle. I'm going to put it on there. Okay, and then this is ready to go through the die cut machine. Okay, so we're done with the die cutting. Let's see what we have. Okay. Okay, now it's time to use our Glue Glider Pro. I'm using the Plus. Um, I like the cartridge flipped the other way, um, using it going away from me. So get as close as you can to the side, and it's easy to do with the Pro because you have quite um, good control over where the adhesive ends up. Okay, so there we go. Just stick it down. Okay, so you can see like that, that's holding our envelope in great, like this is not coming apart. That's how sticky the adhesive is. It's the Permatac adhesive. So I'm going to die cut two circles and I've chosen a brown cardstock um, that matches um, the paper very well. All right, so I have my two circles again. So same thing, you're just going to find the center of the card or the envelope and just pierce well, depending on where you want it. Okay, I'm going to pierce it right there. And then take a brad. Okay, next one. We are almost done. Now you can make such cute cards to go in here. You can turn any pattern paper into an envelope. Okay? So there you go. Now we can just add some more cord. Okay, so there's your other envelope. All right, now Webster's Pages, actually I have it, um, it's going to be opening from the side. So it's going to be a side envelope, okay, so that your um, image is facing up. So there's one envelope. Here's the other. If you wanted to, I found this, this is a beautiful, it's called Shabby Pink. Um, we can ink around the edges of this envelope. It'll just make it uh, really lovely and distressed. Okay. All right. Um, you can do the other side as well. Why not? I think that's good. So there you have it. Two envelopes, four by nine and six and a half by five. Very easy to make, especially with the use of your Glue Glider Pro Plus, the brand new cartridge. Check it out. Okay. Here's the backs. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.